Hi lovelies, so I have been waiting all day to do this video, but um, I cannot stop crying today, so I guess I'm just going to videotape this. Um, t yesterday was awesome, I had a really great Thanksgiving, um, today's just a hard day and um, I think it's because I'm fearful and I know I shouldn't be fearful but it just sneaks up on me every single time but um it's been two years today since I um was hospitalized and um it was really scary because it came out of nowhere and um but something I'm very proud of is it has been two years since I've self-harmed and it is two years since that nightmare. I don't know why I'm so emotional about it. Um, I think because I'm very fearful that like I'll get back to that place because it came like that. Um, I've been seriously depressed for as far back as ninth grade and um, so I know what it's like to really want to end my life but never have I ever um, come up with a plan and written a letter and um, it was weird because um, when I got back from the hospital, I, um, the psych ward, I should say, I went to the hospital and then they admitted me into the psych ward. And lucky for me, um, I talked to the, um, psychiatrist on call that weekend and she actually did see me, which was rare for weekends. So I talked to her and like just told her. I need to go home and like this is not for me because I was in like the um I don't want to say worse because I don't want to put that connotation on it but like the highest level of watching you like the highest threat so um it was a very degrading and scary and just awful experience um more so I think back to um, putting my parents and my brother and sister-in-law through that, so maybe that's why I get really emotional about it, but, um, I remember coming back and just being so grateful for everything that I had here, and, um, and I remember thinking, I'm gonna keep this suicide letter as a, like, reminder to myself to never get back to this place and to remember what it was like and I think I read maybe like two or three lines into it and I couldn't read it it was like I had written that note thir wait, Thursday I think gone into the hospital Friday came out Saturday or Sunday and it was this as if a different person had written that letter and it um it actually really scared me because as many of you guys know I am a Christian and um that was one of the biggest parts of why my parents actually took me to the hospital because I said I couldn't hear God anymore and um it was just really scary reading it back and like it just seemed very evil and um I don't think I'm like talking about this on the channel um it was just very evil and scary and I'm not saying I was possessed or anything like that but it really did seem like a completely different person that had written it, which is like very scary because the day before I went in, I was playing board games with my parents and like laughing and having a good time. And 
I'm very proud of the fact that I can talk about um, my self-harm and that it's been two years and um, even though it's a very scary date for me it is also a very important date because um, it's something you want to celebrate because it is hard to overcome and it is hard to put that past you and there have been many times in that two years where I wanted to hurt I wanted to burn, I wanted to cut, um, but I didn't, and like those are the victories that we need to celebrate in life, and um, it's just, I think it's everything going on right now too, like we're getting ready to pack tomorrow, like my friends are coming for my birthday party, like it's not really my birthday, my birthday is December 24th, but they're all coming and um, my friend Monica is driving like I don't know like three hours to come and be at it and like <sighs> I just never in my life thought I would have friends that were like that like that would drive to come and be at a birthday party that isn't even my birthday party just so I wouldn't cry. <laughs> that I would be able to see her before I leave and take pictures and <sighs> I'm like smiling and crying at the same time because <laughs> I went through recovery and I lost pretty much all my friends <laughs> I truly in my mind never thought I would meet people again not those like I knew I'd have like acquaintances and friends but I never thought I would have the greatest friends of my life and meeting any even more through this like there's some people that watch these videos that I talk to about deeper and more secret stuff than I do to my bestest friends, you know, like, it just depends because there's some people that experience the same thing I do and so it's just a lot easier to talk to and my friends are very busy and it's just, you know, it's a time of being thankful and grateful and like, I just have like my friend Nick um, who's a friend since actually like I had a crush on him in what was it seventh grade because our schools were separated and we would play basketball against them sometimes and I was like oh my gosh that kid's so cute um, but then we became friends and just like buddies in college and stuff and um, I mean, you just like have these visions for people's lives and um, I guess some of them come true but you know he had met this beautiful girl like I cannot even express to you how beautiful she is she looks like a freaking model they look like an Abercrombie and Fitch like bag <laughs> and so I kind of was like I knew he had asked her to marry him and I was like okay they're gonna marry have tons of babies they're happy they're good and then like I got an invitation because because where I come from I'm a townie and um which means like you kind of hang around after college um and we would all get together at the first before Thanksgiving because everybody was home for the holidays and um they were throwing an event there for him and that's how I found out that he had cancer and like God has a very present on my mind, which I'm very thankful for because every time I think about it, I just beg God. With everything in me to take this away from him and to have him and his fiance have the dream wedding and honeymoon and for him not to take another one of our friends and that he be completely healed. And, but at the same time, it's really scary to think about. And 
like why can't it just be happening to me you know like I don't have a bazillion friends and a fiance and a career and he has so many friends and he's just such a kind person and he's just one of those people that people gravitate toward and like he's just been such an inspiration through all of this and I really look up to him and um, he's just he's really become my hero I talk to him and I just couldn't believe that I was talking to a person with cancer not that they sound different but he just was so upbeat and as this channel is called painful hilarity I laugh about things and that's how I deal and that's how I'm like no and um so I just I have a hard time not doing that with my friends and you know you never know how to talk to someone especially if you haven't talked to him in a little while and he was joking with me and and um, it just shows someone's true spirit when they can like just try and make someone else smile and make them feel at ease when they're having such trouble so um, I don't know it's just a lot of change going on right now but as long I guess as long with celebration of something not awful happening you also remember that awful thing happening so I just want to get through this day and feel better for tomorrow because I'm also not feeling well and I think that's probably just bringing it down a lot and I just want to um, I just want to get past this and get down to Florida and start celebrating Christmas and so if you guys um, did Black Friday or what have you um, if you have Black Friday pictures please post them on Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag painful hilarity or at Emily R. Nolan and if you did any Black Friday shopping online or in store please let me know um, what you got or the good deals that you got um, I'm very interested to know because I can only get a few things because it's the end of the month I hate that um, I'm really waiting for Sephora to have another VIB or VIB Rouge sale so um, sorry about the snot and um, that's the only thing I'm sorry about I hope you guys enjoyed this story if you ever want to reach out to me um, about anything that is going on in your life, um, my information is in the down bar and I uh, will hopefully hear from you if you are looking for somebody to talk to because I am blessed with a lot of people to talk to and with my faith. Um, and I by no means will press my faith down your throat if that's something that you worry about. Um, so, I'm going to go blow my nose, and I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day, getting really good deals on Black Friday, and I'm sending out X-Doubles, and I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!